that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Unifacentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I was asked to recreate these beautiful side tables. And the person who made the request asked if it was possible to use cardboard. So now let's see how that's gonna go. The first thing I'm gonna do is create shapes that's gonna give me a cone-like shape. From the pictures that I showed you guys earlier, you can see that the top and at the bottom look like some sort of cones. And when I'm done drawing the shape, I'm going to carve it out using a pair of scissors. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is kind of rough, but don't worry, I'm going to have something over it. This is just something that I'm going to add to the overall structure of the table, and this is going to make it much stronger on the inside. I made a similar one using a poster board. Now you see with this poster board, it's smooth. So this is gonna go over the cardboard. I'm gonna open it up and cover it with white contact paper that I got from Walmart. When I was done with this, I made two. One's gonna be at the top and one at the bottom. Believe it or not, this is strong as it is, but I'm gonna fortify it even more on the inside using round canvases. And I got these from Five Below. For the top, I'll be using this mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago and spray painted it silver. I'm gonna use this mirror and cover the sides with a thin strip that I'll cut from the same contact paper that I use to cover the cones.
I'll be using two regular items for the middle and one of it is going to be a funnel. I'll be using two actually and I'm going to cut them to size. Now I have the shape that I want from two funnels. I have a couple of videos where I used funnels to create home decor items that I know you guys are going to love. Now the list and the links for all those videos are going to be down in the description box below. So this is how the funnel is going to be attached to the cone. Before that, I'll need something round in the middle. And what I've decided to use is this globe that I got from Five Below. I'll take off the parts that I don't need and attach the funnels to it and then take it out to spray paint it gold. I'll be making openings on the globe for the funnels and I'll be using a soldering iron for that. Now if you're not comfortable using this, please ask for help. I'm going to glue the funnels to it with a strong adhesive. After I did that, I took it out and I spray painted it gold. And I also used a gloss spray paint. That way it's going to add an extra shine to it. I mean, it's not too shiny, but at least the gloss spray paint helped. Now I'm going to be attaching both cones to the top and to the bottom using a strong adhesive. And I left it overnight to dry. This is how the white side table turned out. Now I'll be making the second one using a black marble contact paper. This is going to be bigger than the first one using the large circle of a diameter of 30 inches and the smaller circle of a diameter of 9 inches. I fortified the inside with cardboard and canvases like I did for the other ones. But for the top, I'll be using a cake platter that I'm going to cover with the black marble contact paper. I also attached the top and the bottom with a strong adhesive to the middle part. This turned out pretty. Now for the smaller table, as you can see, I used a mirror here. And for the larger one, I just used marble contact paper to cover the cake platter. When you're working with the middle, be sure that it's actually strong and sturdy. If it's not, please do it all over again because I faced that problem to make sure that I have a steady stand. And it's from the alignment that you have in the middle. Now this can hold a lot of weight thanks to the reinforcements that I use in building this. And it's also budget friendly because I covered it up with just contact paper. Comparing mine with the photo that was sent to me, I would say that mine does not look wide enough. So I would recommend that if you're going to attempt this DIY, you make your top and the bottom wider. I do hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.